Determine the sets, natural numbers, whole numbers, or integers, to which all possible numbers described by this statement could belong. Now, before we actually go to the exercises, let us recall what these different names mean. So the natural numbers, which I'll abbreviate with a capital N, the natural numbers are the counting numbers, starting at 1, 2, 3, etc. The whole numbers, which I'll abbreviate W, the whole numbers are the natural numbers and 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. The integers are the natural numbers, their opposites, and 0. And so we often write them as dot, 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 negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. And of course those dots, those ellipses, say that these, this pattern continues on forever. Now the number of people in our math class each day of the week well, let's see, there could be, could be zero. And there could be um, a positive natural number, positive counting number. So which sets include those? Now since it could be zero, it could not be a natural number. So we would have to, you know, exclude the natural numbers. Could it be a whole number? Yes. Zero, the whole numbers include zero and the positive counting, so we can accept the wholes. Could it be an integer? Well, the integers include zero and the positive counting numbers, so yes, it could be an integer. The average low temperature in Alaska. So let's see, the average low temperature in Alaska, depending on the month, and since temperatures are usually, usually reported as whole degrees, it could be negative. Could be zero. Could be positive. So which set includes the negatives, the zero, and the positives? And so that only is the integers. The number of people living in Michigan since it became a state. Since it became a state. Well, when it became a state, there was already a positive number of people living in Michigan. So if we think about which sets contain the positive numbers of people, then all three of the sets include those. So it could be natural. So the natural numbers include that. The whole numbers include them, as do the integers. So all three of the sets uh, describe that statement.